How's it going guys? So I'm standing in our third and final bunker silo corn silage. As you can see, we have hardly anything left. Today's August the 22nd. We usually harvest corn silage right around the end of August, beginning of September. Corn's not quite ready to put in the bunker silos, but we're gonna have to make something happen here because we need some feed. We're ready to harvest corn silage when the total plant moisture gets down to right around 65 to 68%. We should be able to fill this first bunker silo in maybe two weeks. So we're gonna have to do something to get by until then. We're gonna make a 150 foot ag bag. The bagger just showed up, he's gonna get hooked up. With the corn not being fully mature and it being a little too wet, ag bag is the best option. It's gonna make some juice, but this way we can make a small amount. It'll be sealed up good, just right across the front of our special needs pen here. Chopper's gonna be here and start doing corn soon, but we're gonna get this 7220 off the sprayer. We're actually gonna mow our fourth cutting off alpha today. I gotta get my jack, I'm not sure where that is. Oh, right there. My dad had picked up our bunker silo plastic yesterday. Looks like he's got the ag bagger into position now. This mower could use a good service. We're gonna grease it and check the knives. And my dad will go ahead and mow it then, I think. I got to mow the last cutting. Chopper's here now. We're right across the road from the home farm. This was the first field we planted this spring. Corn's definitely green yet, but I think it'll be okay. Let's check an ear out here. So for how dry we were this year, ears don't look too bad. This one didn't fill out the whole way to the top. But you see the kernels are dented there. That means they're getting more mature. Break them in half here. Talk about the milk line. So as the kernels mature, they start to get starchy. The tips work their way back in. Usually when we go to chop, that starch is about halfway down the kernel. We call it the milk line. Wouldn't want to put this in a full bunker, but I think uh, it's gonna be okay out of an ag bag. So if we chopped and filled a whole bunker silo right now, I'd be making a ton of juice. We'd be missing out on some starch too as it's maturing here. It's filling those kernels out, giving us a little bit more energy in those kernels. We're filling a 150 foot ag bag, eight foot diameter. So it's just a long tube of plastic. You tie the end of it there. As he starts filling, the feed's gonna push out and cover over that end there so it'll all be sealed up. to push it back against this backstop here and there's cables that run up to the, the packer there so once it gets going it's going to keep tension on the back allowing the machine to, to really pack that feed in there force the air out of it Some of the corn looks pretty nice this year. This field here doesn't seem quite as tall. If I can almost reach to the top, that's pretty short corn. I don't know if it's just this section right here. You're scouting out some of these other fields. Pretty nice looking stuff in those. Another big thing is the ears. How well do they develop? They seem pretty decent. Decent amount of grain on here. It's only gonna take maybe 10 loads to fill this ag bag. It won't take very long. My dad's out here working at getting this alfalfa mode.
It's been four weeks since we mowed this stuff. Could go another week or two, but we figured we should cut it now because our custom guy's gonna be getting into chopping corn, getting pretty busy in a week or so. So he's doing a little bit of corn for us today, but he's gonna put the hay head back on tomorrow, come and chop this. He likes to change the knives on his chopper right before he starts with corn so that they're extra sharp and he can work through a ton of as fast as possible. When he's doing hay, you're picking up some dirt and rocks here and there. Can be a little bit harder on the knives, I guess. And then we'll do fifth cutting after corn silage is off and he's done with all that this fall. That's it, he's done. We're gonna shut her down for a couple weeks. He's rolling his cables up now. This stuff is very green. I'm not used to seeing fresh cut silage quite this green. Here at the end, it's kind of some mush that fell out of the bagger. Got some juice there already. I don't think the cows will like this stuff quite as much. It's nice to let it ferment. The variety of corn that we put in this bag is designed to be fed soon after harvest. The starch is just naturally more digestible and in the past we've had pretty good success feeding it green like this. It's the next day here, we're getting this little bit of hay chopped. These guys we get to do our harvesting are really good to work with. Even if we have a small amount of some crop to cut, they'll make it work, show up and harvest it for us. Yesterday they showed up, did nine loads of silage. Now today they're back with the same chopper, switched the head, doing 22 acres of alfalfa for us. Not every farm has access to a reliable crew like this. Their job should be a little easier next year. We're not going to have any alfalfa. We'll just be doing more spring forage. They already got it wrapped up. This year we've had just enough rain that keeps everything going, but never too much rain. A little borderline not enough pretty often. Really thankful how the corn looks. The alfalfa seems to be hurting a little bit more, but we didn't have too much of that, so it doesn't really matter too much. Just looking around at our corn here at the home farm, all these fields should fill up one of the side bunkers. And then we got one field over there of a different variety, along with corn at a rented farm that'll fill another bunk. And then all this across the road here is enough to fill the center bunker. That's what we're gonna be harvesting first. We cut five acres out of that strip there yesterday to fill the ag bag down there still got enough there we should be able to fill our center bunker out of there if it yields decent seems like the corn's going to yield enough that we should be able to fill our bunk most of the way anyway it's not going to be overfilled that's for sure need to close this silo up now seal it up again i'm mixing feed for the cows now this afternoon filled this bag yesterday and we're digging into it already so we're mixing it half and half here for a couple of feedings. Hopefully help the cows transition a little bit. But this stuff is uh, not exactly stable yet. This isn't really ideal to be feeding to the cows. We're hoping they handle it okay with the variety of feed that it is. With this feed being a lot wetter, we're gonna put more pounds in. It'll be the same amount of dry matter. It's just there's a lot more water in there, so we gotta put more weight. Should be around 73, 74% moisture content. You can see the juice is running out of it across the driveway. The feed normally stays pretty decent the whole way back to the back wall of this bunk. Usually we throw away stuff in the corners. We get some water that runs down in there. It's hard to keep that out. But you can see some spoiled feed here too. We'll feed. This is all good stuff. It smells good. Everything along the bottom across here is still good. 
it's nice if we can mix it for a couple days. That change isn't quite as abrupt for the cows. This is a BMR silage as well. It's not known to be quite as digestible as the variety that we just put in that ag bag. If they were both good fermented feed, that other silage would probably test better. Normally does. We're expecting the cows to keep milking. I'll uh, let you guys know how it goes. feed the cows. I'll let you guys know how things go with the new feed. We're going to try to work to prevent this situation in the future, but it's the way it is this year, and we'll make it work. All right, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. See ya.